Okay, welcome to another episode of Fix the Tech on My Kitchen Table. Um, got a Mega CD2, um, which doesn't power on. I'm hoping it's um, something other than the uh, fuse that I fixed in the last Mega CD2 um, episode I did. So hopefully it'll be something different. So let's uh, crack this puppy open. That doesn't sound good, does it? There's something uh, definitely fallen off inside in there. But uh, let's get the screws out and uh, see what we've got. So we've got the top off. Oh, I can see. Oh dear. This is going to be interesting. That is part of the circuit board. Um, hopefully, it's not this circuit board. Um, yeah, probably is just because. Oh dear. The screen has only got the one screw in it. Let's take the screen off. Oh, maybe not. It's ah, oh, that I see. That is part of the circuit board from the CD drive. Look at that. This is going to be one big repair. Um, yeah. This is going to be very interesting. So, um, doesn't explain why it wasn't powering up though. Um, I suspect the fuse has probably gone as well and um, yeah the circuit board uh, is uh, the, the big issue to be honest let me see if I can get my uh, multimeter out and uh, have a go at testing this uh, see if this fuse has actually gone or not right so I've uh, got the circuit board out and this is the piece obviously that <clears throat> that's fallen off they've fallen off been broken off the uh, the CD drive there um, that is going to be such a pain to stick back together oh maybe not um, it doesn't go a few through a, through a huge amount of traces I want to maybe three or four on the bottom uh, well uh, maybe ten on the top it's still going to be a lot of work, um, but it did, as I said, it doesn't explain why the whole unit's not powering on full stop. Um, as I say, maybe just the fuse that's gone. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the fuse, and um, yeah, hopefully you can sort it. Right, the uh, the fuse on the Mega CD2, or the Sega CD2, as they call it in America, um, is this bit here. Um, in order to test continuity, you need to set your multimeter to the continuity tester. Obviously, it does work. Um, put your probes either side of the fuse, and yeah, that fuse is gone. Um, you can just, if it was working, you would get the continuity through it. So that needs replacing. So I'm going to do that first, and then um, then we'll tackle the the elephant in the room, which is the uh, which is the CD drive, so let me just change that fuse and I'll be back in a sec. Right, so let's see um, the new fuse in. Um, obviously I just need to tie up, tidy up the placement, but uh, I'm just going to go give it a quick whirl and uh, see what happens. Uh, hopefully the unit will turn on and the bias will turn up, but obviously the CD drive's not going to work, but uh, there's no harm in trying it, is there? Be back in a second. Got it all hooked up to the mains and to the, um, to the Mega CD1 and uh, give it a turn on, see what happens. Oh, look at that. So I'm just closing the door there. So I'm Alright, so um, I was closing the door there and it actually did seem to recognise, so perhaps we don't actually need that part of the circuit board. So um, let me just try and put a, uh, put a disc on and uh, we'll see what happens. Right, so I've just turned the uh, main CD on again. Uh, let's close the door. Well, that didn't sound too good, but it, it shows the, mo the motor's working and the 
laser, laser searching for the disc. So let me uh, pop a disc on there. Of course, it's not going to spin around because he hasn't got the magnet holding the disc on. But oh, it seems to be, seems to want to work, ironically. So I'm going to stick this back together and see if it works at the corner of that circuit board. Be back in a minute. Right, first to um, try sort that god awful grinding noise that we got on the uh, on the screws, um, on the gears and the screw on the uh, on the laser. What it is is there's a, a small tactile switch uh, just here, which uh, the laser pushes as it gets to the end, so it knows when the uh, end of the track is. Um, what happens over the years is that that switch bends out of position. So all we need to do is just gently bend it back with a screwdriver. Ever so gently. And hopefully, if you get it right, that will uh, sort it out. So let's give that a go. Try to fix the other stuff, and uh, hopefully that will all be good. Back in a minute. Right, so um, it's all back together. Um, I think there's an issue with the um, the switch that registers whether the door door is closed or not. So I've taped that up for now. But uh, when I switch it on, checks the disc. Recognises the disc, press the start button, and away we go. So I have no idea how it's working. I'm assuming that part of the board is, um, I'm assuming that part of the board is just like test points or something like that. But um, I'm just amazed that this is uh, working with that part of the circuit board missing. But uh, well, Mega CD that will never die. So uh, another successful fix on fixing tech on my kitchen table in the living room, but you know what I mean. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. In the distant future, approximately 300 solar systems, including our own, are under the domination of